the culvert again comes the east branch of Dudley Brook. And the whole length of Dugway Brook, the East Branch, and its, and its whole journey to the lake, to Lake Erie, this is the only stretch, the short stretch in the park, where there's public access to the ocean brook. So we should take advantage of it. And here is a little little feeder stream coming in from Superior above, right about the at the East Cleveland city line. And just a few yards on, the stream, the feeder stream, coming down from the heights of, of Severance Center, finally reaches Dome Brook East Branch. But amazingly, in the midst of this bucolic setting, the engineers and the city planners and who knows who else have their way with the book again. That it goes into its culvert, its culvert, until it reaches beyond I-90, beyond the freeway. See where Dugway was and would be again if the culvert would plug up, but it's not there. Even though there's a great deal of the park to go, none of East Cleveland, of the East Cleveland section of the park, is favored by an open brook. It's a beautiful walk, but the the stream which created this place, in part, is is missing, it's underground. I imagine that few, if any, children or parents using this park know that Dudway Brook, these branches are running right under their feet. And now we reach the, the bottom of the Portage Escarpment, the bottom of Forest Hill Boulevard, and where the um, from the other part of Forest Hill Park down here to Terrace. Here we are on Terrace, looking toward the lake, and the culvert is underneath us. It's likely under this parking lot, beside Superior.
Deer Dugway East crosses the street underneath the street and heads under the railroad tracks. Just as in, in Cleveland Heights and in other parts further up the hill in East Cleveland, we have along Dugway Brook, which is underneath this field, this edge, a, um, a long chain of parks and schools. Um, in Cleveland Heights, of course, they have Cane Park in Cumberland, Forest Hill, in East Cleveland, and we'll run into some as we go down Forest Hills Parkway, all the way nearly to the lake. And it's not an accident or coincidence that there's sewer work going on here. Um, work by the sewer district dealing with our water problems and dealing with Dugway and its needs. A playground right next to a work that's being done or supplies for work, work on the course of Dugway. And here's the Forest Hills pool, closed for the season, um, the end of the season. But I think in many times in the past, at least, has used water from Dugway Brook to fill the pool. Schools and churches tend to be built along waterways. Down the parkway a bit is is Glenville High School. We're on Brookwood getting closer to the end of Dugway East. And it's around here that the two branches of the of Dugway Brook finally come together. Very near Forest Hill Elementary School. In the distance across the freeway are the affluent towers of Bratnow. And we want, look at them from Glenville. Is the work being done by the regional sewer district, basic work. And what we can hope is that eventually a lot of Dugway Brook can be freed from its from its underground prison and we can see it again and it could run through our communities. <laughs>